So when I'm researching stuff to buy, for example, the M2 MacBook Pro or a synthesizer or something, I go on YouTube and I search. And uh, for the Mog synthesizer, for example, I wanted to see how it performs in a track. I don't necessarily want to hear the raw sound from it. Of course, I do want to hear that from at, at some point, but I also want to hear how it works in a uh, normal setting when you use it. And uh, I know some of you watching my channel also want to see how some of the new Apple gear works in music production and not, not just uh, boring benchmarks. So I have this track I have finished here. It's one of the tracks I have uh, the most uh, tracks in. So in this case, it's a uh, Ableton Live project with 50 tracks and everything here is finished it's mixed and it's uh yeah everything is ready to go and uh, everything is set to high quality all synthesizers fab filter and everything is set to high quality i've just wanted to show you this project it's a huge project for me at least and i finished it on this new m2 max uh, macbook pro 16 inch and i am recording this while on the same Mac while I am showing you uh, the project. So you can see here, it's quite a few tracks here, some audio tracks, some synthesizer tracks, but uh, I can just play a little of it here so you can take a listen. Let's see if it managed this. So the track is not out yet, it's called Dyson Swarm and uh, you can get it on Spotify in a few months or at least you can check out SoundCloud if you want to listen to it now. I think there is a link in the description, but uh, so a little promotion there. But anyway, if you just take a look at some of the tracks here, we can see it start off with a kick, right? So that's basically a kind of mix with the kick on the top and usually at least. And uh, it's just a sample playing here with some compressor EQing and uh, decapitator. If we go down here, we have effects, right kick effects. It's just some kind of, I don't know, some ride sample maybe? Yeah, some ride sample. But uh, I mean, it's it has, has a compressor and EQ that as well. Then we have a bass group. So this is the bass in the track. Sounds like this. So on the group here, I have a lot of effects. I have utility, I have uh, a saturator, compressor, and a uh, limiter from Fab Filter with actually oversampling on for four times oversampling on this one. Sidechain, LFO tool, the EQ from Fab Filter in uh, in a natural phase as well. Then again on bass here, we are using uh, Kniphonium. <laughs> it's a really cool sounding piece of piece of uh, thing. <laughs> yeah, I really like it. It sounds like this. I really like this uh, synth. And then we have Diva. Diva is of course something that is um, demanding. I have found that uh, using Diva on Mac it's uh, best to actually disable multicore here. You have this multicore button. It's best to disable it because uh, seems like Ableton is handling it better if we turn it off. That's what I have found at least. Yeah, again, we have some uh, effects here. Compressor, EQ, then we can go down here. Another Diva, right? With a lot of effects. LFO tool, sidechain, Soothe 2, EQ, limiter. So all of these plugins are actually pretty demanding and on diva you can actually set the quality here you can set the accuracy it's set to fast you see that but when you render the track it's set to best okay so here we have some uh, recordings from my uh, mog synthesizer so these are audio files but again uh, we have uh, echo boy black hole decapitator eq lfo tool effects on other tracks here we have Kniphonium again here. 
some pads going, some EQ, Diva again here. Yeah, I mean, uh, there's a lot of, a lot of stuff. Diva, little radiator, just kind of small plugins here and there. Echo Boy, delay. This is a free delay. This is really good. You should download it. It's 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 really good. I really like it. Some more strange effects here. I really like this sound. Uh, it's uh, patches from uh, a company called uh, Audio Tent. I think they are really, really nice. So I recommend checking them out if you have. They have patches for a lot of different synthesizers. Diva, Kniphonium, Serum, I guess. Diva is, of course, uh, my go-to in most of my tracks. Then, uh, well, we have another group here. A group with a lot of plugins, Saturation, Saturn 2. So we have Linear Face activated, high quality is superb. So remember that everything here is playing in real time. Q3, Decapitator, and uh, I can just not bore you with all of this. I can just go down and you can, you can kind of see here what we have going. So this is a group, so I am processing this on a group there. In this case, at least here as well and we can go down some EQing compressor you know the basics and uh, yeah we just have a lot of tracks going on here and just some of on the end here and the master chain is uh, Saturn a few EQs multiband compression and uh, a limiter of course and uh, I had to turn off the oversampling. I set it to 32 here because I was uh, exporting the thing, but I set that one to off. So if I set this to 32, this takes up. So that, that doesn't work. But if I turn it off, I, it should work. And uh, settings, we can see that I am running uh, the project in 48 kilohertz here, and I'm using 512 samples. Just for fun, let's just set it to 192, see what happens. I don't know if that works. 192, okay, let's, let's go. Nope, <laughs> that did not work, okay. Uh, I'm wondering if my screen recording is working here. I hope so. I think this uh, was a stupid idea, so let's set it to 48 again. Yeah, I'm not sure if the screen recording halted or something, but uh, trying 192 did not work. Let's see if we can try something else. Let's try 96. Double it. 96. No, that doesn't work. Okay. But uh, 48 kilohertz works just fine with this uh, pretty demanding uh, project. 50, 50 tracks, probably 3-4 effects on each every track as well, so a lot of things going on. This is the CPU meter. Someone in uh, in the comments asked me how much memory my benchmark projects 
uh, used, I don't really remember. You can see here how much memory I'm using now in this project with uh, 50 tracks. So I have 32 gigabytes on this uh, machine. I am using 25 gigabytes. One gigabyte has been uh, moved. That means one gig have been uh, used for swap. And I haven't rebooted this Mac since probably a few weeks ago. So yeah, so that's Ableton Live 11, my latest project, Dyson Swarm. If you want to listen to it now, you can uh, check it out in the link in the description below to SoundCloud. And it's going live on Spotify. I think it's uh, next month or in one month or something like that. Also, I have unpaused my Patreon. So there you can get access to a uh, secret Discord channel only for patrons where you can write to me. <laughs> There's not a lot of people there now, so you can join the Discord for free as well. And uh, well, uh, I will answer when I'm not at work. I also have some tiers with uh, Ableton Live projects. I think there's up to 10 Ableton Live projects you can download in one go. And uh, you can also download my music in lossless format. It's also av available in different tiers and you support the creation of this what I do here. Also, if you have the time, please check out the next video YouTube suggests for you here on the side. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.